Good morning, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. You're here with Homesteading with Blue Sky Ranch. Today, I want to talk to you about composting in the wintertime. There's no need to get all stressed out about the fertilizers, rising costs. Make sure you're composting all year long. I'm here to show you what I do in my homestead so we have fertilizer all year and we spend zero to buy extra fertilizer for our garden. So it doesn't matter whether you live on a farm, you live in an apartment, and you just have some potted plants. There are some quick and easy ways that you can make fertilizer right here in your own kitchen. One thing most of us have here in our home is coffee grounds. So I compost all of our coffee grounds, and what we use here, it's not a real pre pretty method. Now you don't have to go out and order a cute little composting bucket, to sit on your counter, I'm telling you, keep it simple and spend no money and just make it so you can use something every day that's very functional. So here in my kitchen, like I said, this is nothing pretty. It's real simple. We have two Folgers containers sitting here in the second sink here. And inside of them, it's not going to be pretty because now I can't really wash them out because my hoses are all frozen. But it's coffee grounds. And in this one, we've got some coffee grounds and some onions, skins. The one thing with coffee grounds is you can go ahead and sprinkle those right on your raised garden beds. If you don't have a big compost bin, um, you can just sprinkle them on top. Or, or you can do the dig method where you dig a little hole, throw your stuff in there, your onion peels, um, vegetables. Now for me, everything goes to our chickens that doesn't get composted. So it gets turned around in a different way because then I take the chicken poop and throw it in the compost. But right now, this is a simple method in my kitchen. We have done this for, I'm guessing, 20 plus years. We have done it this way in our kitchen. And um, mostly coffee grounds, like I said, onion skins, garlic, potato peels, but everything else goes to the chickens. And then again, I will go and clean the chicken coop and then throw that into the compost. Now, the next thing, if you're homesteading, you probably have a wood stove or a fireplace. So typically, I mean, I don't want to tell you what we do, but we usually remove some hot ash because we don't let our fire go out. But we've been gone for a couple days through the holidays, so our fireplace is totally out. No hot embers, and I am ready to clean it out so I can put this in my compost. So again, you don't need anything fancy, but what you do need is metal. And we have an old, we have a really old, reused clam broth. Clam broth, uh, I don't know what we use this for. I think we cooked the clams in it back in the day when we used to go clam digging and you could drain off the broth out of it for clam juice. But we no longer clam dig, so here we go. We have this great, bucket. Now another thing that you can get is an oil drip pan that's metal that will fit inside of your wood stove. Most of these buckets that you buy that are galvanized will not fit inside so then you make a big dusty mess. So I kind of put this in there halfway and I get my shovel around it and I fill it up. All right I've taken all the ashes except for just a little bit out of the wood stove. We have this is probably about a three gallon bucket and it is pretty well full. So one thing, when you do take your ashes out, and if they were any hot coals, make sure you're taking them away from your house and in a metal bucket, and uh, make sure they're totally cold before you put them into your compost. So years ago with the ashes, we used to have a, a wood stove that we only heated with wood, and we had about six feet of snow where we lived before, and I could never get to where we composted. I couldn't get to the garden beds. I could get to one tomato bed and so I used to throw the ashes into this huge tomato bed and my tomatoes did fantastic and I didn't even really put it all together until I realized what what this was doing to that soil was the potash was helping those tomatoes against diseases and to retain water in the summer months. So you can go ahead and take your ashes and you can sprinkle them a light layer in your garden beds if you don't have a compost bin and just let it sit there and then you can 
mix it all in in the spring. So the next thing I want you to save in your garden and not put in your compost directly are eggshells. So I save all my eggshells as I'm eating, as we go through them and I freeze them. And I'm gonna show you in another video how you can make them into beautiful compost and fertilizer for your plants. You will no longer have to buy calcium at the store for your plants. You will make it yourself. So keep your eggshells. Keep your eggshells, keep your coffee grounds, keep your ashes, any other vegetable scraps. You can go ahead and compost those or directly sow those into your soil. So the purpose of composting is to make your soil enriched every year and I have never ever bought in fertilizer for our tilled gardens in our entire existence. I have been gardening for 30 plus years and we have never bought in fertilizer. So we do a method of moving our crops every year. You want to rotate your crops and then we want to put back in the soil everything we can, which would be the coffee grounds, the vegetables, eggshells, your ashes. If you have farm animals, fantastic bunny poop is the best chicken poop the second best and of course we have steer manure um, you can also use horse manure then the next best thing if you have it are leaves i have no leaves where we live now but before i had wonderful leaves and they just are fantastic for the soil to uh, ro rotate that all in in the fall and let it sit there and then uh, organically decompose all winter so I'm going to take you out to my compost bin and I'm going to show you what we've got going on in the winter. So here on the farm, I've talked about it before, about we try not to have any waste. And so I'm showing you composting and how important it is to use every resource you have to put it back into your soil. Here we have almost zero garbage. I recycle everything. We have local huge bins that I, I have to drive there, but I save everything. Thing and I go there like once a month and I can recycle almost everything and then we make about one tiny little bag of garbage a month. So this is my routine. I'm going to carry this out to my compost now. So out here is our repurposed compost bin and all we did was use tea posts, drive them in the ground, and slide pallets over top of them. And then we use a piece of plywood on the front that I can take on and off with a screwdriver so I can drive our tractor right in there. This is two pallets wide, so it was wide enough for our bucket for our tractor. Super, super simple. We can get in here, we can turn it with our forks or the bucket, and I have my water here and I can water it. You can see we've got some cow manure in here, some steer manure, and um, some vegetable scraps, and some snow, so some natural water. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw the coffee grounds in. All right, let's go ahead and throw this in. Now, usually I would rinse the buckets out and uh, throw the water in here too, but I can't do it this time of year. It's just too cold. I have to get the hose out. Next, I'm going to throw the ashes in. <laughs> ah! A little wind today. <laughs> A little wind coming the wrong direction, but it's okay. A little ash never hurt anybody. <laughs> So out there at my cow's shelter, you can see some, there's two piles, one on either side. I go out there and clean their house daily or every other day. And um, I take all their poop and I put it in a pile. Last year I had, I think 14 buckets with our tractor of manure. This is the best way for me to collect it because otherwise they're all down on 20 acres and that manure is for that soil and it rebuilds that soil. But whatever they do in their house is mixed with straw and I can put that back into my garden. So composting in the winter can be super easy or as hard as you wanna make it. So remember, don't throw out your coffee grounds. They're full of nitrogen for your plants. Don't throw out your eggshells. They're full of calcium. 
and of course all vegetable scraps and if you've got ashes well you've got potash and you don't have to buy that now so remember you don't have to drop a whole bunch of money on fertilizers just use the resources that you have and if you have any type of manure from farm animals you've got another source of nitrogen just like me you can throw it in a big bin and turn it and you'll have it for next year so next fall is when i'll be using all of this and i've already put my compost in the garden this year so um don't waste anything don't throw it away you can throw it into your garden again if you don't have a compost bin you can do the just dig a hole throw it in there and let it compost naturally over the winter hey Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe.